Hello, Araceli. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very good, thank you. And okay, you? Okay, I'm okay too. You have been absent. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> uh huh. Why have you been absent, Nubia? Araceli? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Roxana. How are you? Um, so, so. Not oh. too, not too bad. Uh-huh. And not too good. <laughs> Average. Uh-huh. <laughs> Average. Mm -hmm. All right, today was a, a heavy day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, December is, uh, is usually it's easier than, 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 yes. other, than other months. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. People yeah. like usually have a lot of things. Right. People usually have more work than usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's true. It's so welcome back, everybody. Thank you. Give me a second. Thank you. Teacher? Yes. Oh, sorry. I don't have a good connection. It's raining. Really? Yeah, here it's raining in San Salvador. Really? So maybe we have rain in Lourdes later. Hopefully, Santana. if you're lucky. Okay. Yeah. You said something about Santana? Yes, I'm raining too. It's raining too? Yes. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if it's raining in San Salvador and Santana, there is a good a little, possibility. A, a okay. All right. Uh, in my house, no, no, it's not raining. Yeah, the no. this is not raining either. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, fine. All right. All right. So let's begin. What's today's date? Yeah, uh, December third, two thousand. December third, two thousand twenty. That is correct. Um, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Something about the risk. I, I, I yes. <laughs> yes, we were speaking about risks. Mm -hmm. What is the plural of risk? Risks. Risks. Good. Araceli, what is the plural of risk? Uh, Araceli, Araceli. Roxanne, yeah. uh, uh huh. What is the plural risk. of risk? Risks. Risks. Uh, yes. Risks. Risks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. risks. Norma, what risks. is the plural of risk? Risks. 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 Uh -huh. risks. risks. I Irene, what is the plural of risk? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. The plural of risk is risk. <laughs> okay, singular, you say risk. Plural, you say risks. Risk. Oscar, what is the plural of risk? Risks. What is it? One more time. Risks. 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 So when you say <laughs> risk, like this. Risks. Exactly. Yes. Risks. You see uh, the chat? Risks. Uh -huh. Risk. It's too complicated to say it in a normal conversation, teacher. Right. <laughs> and especially because we don't have that particular sound in Spanish, you know. It's like when you say test. What is the plural of test? I think it's the same. Test. Tests. 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 What? Tests. I have three tests. 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 No. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday we were speaking about risks. 
risks. Okay. Okay, good. Um, and we also had a listening activity. So remember, we have we have instructional and we have authentic listening, right? Uh, what is the difference between instructional and um, authentic? What's the difference? Please refresh my memory. Yeah. Authentic is when we speak with like a native speaker. Okay. Uh, in institutional is when you use, use books or similar to interchange. Good. Authentic means real English. Can you mention examples of real English? Um, no. What is it? When you use it uh, or listen to music or see a movies okay. or, or a documentary or uh -huh. tutorials. Very good. In so, a restaurant. Or in a restaurant, right. So authentic, I wrote in the chat. Authentic makes reference to real English. What is real English? Uh, examples, uh, newspaper, magazines, music, television. That's authentic, real English. And then instructional makes reference to books. Instructional. Instructional. Books, English books. Now, when I say books, I don't mean novels or uh, books that people in, 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 in universities in the US. We're talking about books like English, uh, English books, books where they teach you the language. So that is it. Okay, any questions or comments before we start? No, that's um, All right. You know, uh, in, the, in the US, yeah. um, um, early, I was I was talking to to Julia this afternoon. Uh -huh. um, <clears throat> you know, and, uh, we were talking about the the, the real English in, in the U.S. and you almost uh, you almost don't don't have a chance to practice English because <clears throat> if 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 when you go to any place and you start to to how to say tartamudear how do you say Stutter. that in English? Stutter. Stutter. They immediately, a clerk, um, many people, they immediately start to speak in Spanish to you. Okay. Yeah, so, stutter. 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 It's right there in the chat. Stutter. Yeah, okay. stutter means tartamudear. Yes, stutter. Stutter. Oh my goodness. When you start to stutter, you're almost out because almost everyone speaks Spanish. Yeah, it, it depends on the city where you are. Like Chicago, mm -hmm. there is a big Latino community there. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if everybody speaks Spanish. Uh -huh. you, don't, you don't have the chance to speak. Even the even the, the gringos are speaking Spanish. Right, right. It's like when you go to Los Angeles, you know, a, a, a big Latino community where everybody speaks Spanish. Koreans, Japanese, whites, blacks, everybody speaks Spanish. So, yeah, it's true. So you have to, in my, my opinion, you have to uh, sharp your English uh, online the most that you can and then go go out. Right. Because with a, with a, a medium level, I mean a medium proficiency, medium level of proficiency, on the, on the language um, uh, I mean there's no so much chance to, to practice right right on, on least, at least I mean if you go to a university or to a college may, uh, maybe you, you you're going to be practicing that right right it's true okay um, any other questions or comments people so, you know, there are many um, sites, there are many clubs where you guys can practice your, your English with people from different nationalities, you know. So if you go to Google, you said uh, English conversation clubs, you will find 
just to imagine the number of people that are learning the language. We're talking about millions and millions. So there are uh, many opportunities online, you know, platforms, uh, tutorials. I mean, so many things that you can do to practice the language. Yes. All right. So let's, um, we're going to have um, four different listening exercises plus the speaking section. Um, when you are having dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever, what do you use uh, to eat? Depends so, on the place. Okay, so let's say you are in Los Cebollines, for example, and you ask for chicken or beef, whatever. What do you use to eat? How do you say cuchillo in English? Knife. Knife. Tenedor. Fork. Fork. Cuchara. Spoon. Servilleta. Napkin. Napkin. Yes, napkin. Mantel. Mantel. The one you uh you put on the table. Table cover. Mantel. Tablecloth. 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 Yeah, tablecloth. Right. How do you say desechables in English? Disposable. Disposable. Exactly. This right now, how do you say cubiertos? Um, it's a golden platter. There's a word like trenches in, in English. It's there's utensils. a word like that. Utensils. What? It's right there. Plari. Utensils. Utensils. Oh yeah, utensils. Okay. So the the audio we were we will hear is related with with this terminology, you know, tablecloth, disposable utensils, and and and, and different things. So let me look for the audio. And here we go. Pay attention. Questions one and two refer to the following conversation. Now put the forks to the left of the plate and the knives and soup spoons to the right. What about the water glasses? Where do they go? Put them above the plates to the right and see that bowl of flowers? Put that in the middle of the table. Good idea. It will make the table look very pretty. Number one. What are the speakers doing? What are they doing? Setting the table. Setting the table. That's acceptable. Question number two. Number two. What is in the bowl? What is in the bowl? Flower. Flowers? What what is the meaning of bowl? Florero. What is it? Florero. Florero. Sería como huacal o Remember the, the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. Uh, ajá, el tazón. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right. So, plato, plato hondo para sopa, no. Right, right. So when you drink soup, when you have ice cream, when you have a salad, uh, it's common that they use a bowl. Listen again. Listen carefully. Take notes if you want to take notes. Go ahead. Listen carefully. Questions one and two refer to the following conversation. Now put the forks to the left of the plate and the knives and soup spoons to the right. What about the water glasses? Where do they go? Put them above the plates to the right. And see that bowl of flowers? Put that in the middle of the table. Good idea. It will make the table look very pretty. Number one. What are the speakers doing? What are they doing? Anybody except Oscar. 
Oscar already answered. What are they doing? The position of the utensils okay. on the table. Okay, good. Um, position of the utensils, okay. Number two, what is in the bowl? What is in the bowl? Anybody? Were you taking notes? What is it? The flowers. Yeah, flowers. Why do you put flowers on a table? <laughs> to make the table the look pretty. Yeah, decoration, decoration, to make the table uh, look pretty. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. Any questions about the first listening? No, no it's clear. Okay. Now, uh, what are the two most common international exams to measure uh, the level of the language? The TOEFL. TOEFL is one, and what is the other one? TOEIC. TOEIC, exactly. Okay. So, uh, next, uh, the next listening. I give you a check and I said, Oscar Bonilla, $300. I give the check to Oscar. What is Oscar going to do with the check? Pay the bill. Huh? To change? Should I say? Should I say? Okay, go to the to bank to and do what? Cash. To In cash. The check. To cash, cash the check. check. Cash the check. Cash the che cash Remember, the che uh, in Spanish we say, tengo que ir a cambiar este cheque. Mm -hmm. Te cambio el papel por dinero, por efectivo. So it's sometimes we think, same. okay, I'll go to the bank and I'll go change the check. Why are you going to mm -hmm. change it? Is there a problem with the check? So you say change if there is an inconvenient with the check. Maybe your mm -hmm. name is not good. The amount mm -hmm. is not good. Anything that... Uh, uh, that you're not completely happy about the check. So listen mm -hmm. to the story, take notes, and listen again. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Questions seven through nine refer to the following conversation. Could you cash this check for me? I can if you have an account at this bank. I just opened one last week. This is my account number. But it's at another branch. Does that matter? No. As long as you have enough money in your account to cover the amount of the check, I can cash it for you. Number seven. Who is the man talking to? Who is the man talking to? About the cash, the check. Okay, but who is he talking to? Oh. Um, like maybe a, a friend? <laughs> who, like a tailor or, or, uh -huh. or, a, or a friend. I, uh, it, that, it's not really clear. Okay. Uh, someone else? Who is someone he? Someone that can... The woman. Uh, yeah. Who's the woman? Who's the woman? The cashier of the bank. The cashier, maybe. Okay. Um, yeah. It's If it's... um. You know, in the past, in El Salvador, when we still had colones, they had some places where you could exchange dollars for colones, uh -huh. or where people will send you a money order, you will go to this place and cash it, right? Uh -huh. So maybe a cashier, maybe a teller. It all depends if it's in a bank or not. Uh -huh. um, so listen again. Listen carefully. Questions seven through nine refer to the following conversation. Could you cash this check for me? I can if you have an account at this bank. I just opened one last week. This is my account number. But it's at another branch. Does that matter? No. As long as you have enough money in your account to cover the amount of the check, I can cash it for you. Number seven. Who is the man talking to? 
the teller, the cashier, woman uh, that is going to give him the a, cash. A person who works at the bank. Okay, the person who works for the bank. Good. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the person that works in a bank? Mm, don't say the name. Yeah, but what is the profession, ah, the occupation? Okay. Maybe a cashier or a secretary. Okay, but in a bank, what is the name of the use for cashier in a bank? Teller. 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 Mm -hmm. Teller. And that's why uh, when you go to an ATM, how do you say retirar dinero in English? Withdraw. 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 Yes. So 1 a.m., you need cash, so you go to the ATM to withdraw money. What is the meaning of ATM? Automatically teller machine. Uh -huh. Automatic teller machine. Okay. Teller. Cajero automático. So if it's the machine, you say ATM, but if it's the person, you say teller. You know, vocabulary is really, really, really important when you're taking the TOEFL exam. Like I said, when you go to the reading section, uh, they will ask you questions related with the reading, with the message to see how much you understood. And they will also have readings related with, um, with vocabulary. Do you remember the word cognate? What is a cognate? <clears throat> Two words that have the same meaning in two different languages. Okay, one word in two different languages. Okay. One word in two different languages. How do you say television in English? Television. How do you say radio? Radio. Radio. How do you say persona? Person. 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 So if you compare television, radio, and person, they are very similar uh, if you compare English and Spanish. So that's an example of a cognate. Okay, let's okay. go to the last question. Number eight. What does the man need? What does the man need? Money. <laughs> what does he need to do? Yeah, he needs money. So what is he going to do? Cash. Cash the check. Cash the check. check. Yes. How do you say fondos in English? Um, funds. Fund or, um, funds. Uh, and money. Uh -huh. Funds. You say funds. Qu question, question, teacher. Yeah, funds. yeah. Is funds or no, funds? Funds. funds? funds. Like that. It's in the chat. Funds. funds. Okay. Uh -huh. Funds. How do you say? I used to say funds. Yeah, <laughs> found is, is a little bit different. Funds. So how do you say no tengo saldo para llamarte? I don't have funds to call you. Credit. Exactly. I, I don't I don't have funds to call you. I don't have funds to call you. So you know if you want to have airtime in your cell phone, you need to put money in the cell phone, right? So you said, I don't have funds. I don't have funds. All right, any questions? Questions? All right. So let's make a, a pause. Let's do some speaking. Uh, we're going to be speaking about technology. I'm pretty sure everybody uh, uses technology every day nowadays so let's have a conversation about that let's see this here uh -huh. eight to nine eight to nine eight to nine right here so there you have the questions how do you say captura de imagen, captura de pantalla? Screenshot. Screenshot. Screenshot, right. So if you prefer, take a screenshot and let me arrange the, the pairs that we have today. 
create groups, um, add a room. Here we go. I am to right now, and I am still going to do my maybe to two or three a.m. How do you how do you stand that? Because uh, when I work too much time on the computer, I I started to feel like a pain in in my arm, in my yeah. the, in my wrist. It I can be like two or three hours on the computer like typing. No, it's not for me. Even really? in, the, in the chat, it's okay. too much. I don't like to be in the, too much time in WhatsApp. No, I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not the person that I'm going to write you and write. No, just, just for the Very necessary sick. thing. Yeah, I hate that teacher. No, no, it's not for me. And hey, hello, how are you? And what is it to do today? No, 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 no. Just the basic. <laughs> I the understand you. Things. I have a sound on my computer because I, I, I don't like to. Mm. I prefer yes. to, to, to type on my keyboard on the computer. Sorry for you. Yeah, sorry for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when I. In my mind, I suppose that the machine, maybe, for example, a computer. Uh, in my case, uh, uh, I remember the first computer that I used uh, time ago, like a desktop. Uh-huh. Uh, the, big, the biggest. Uh -huh. Very obsolete. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And now I use a laptop. It's mm -hmm. more easy to use. More practical. Yeah, I agree with you, Roxy. Easy going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, number two say is, te uh, is technology a good or a bad thing? What do you think? Um, I I I am I am reading that, that use for fun use for different things that you want I mean if you want to learn English also you can use it <laughs> yes Where? nowadays nowadays, nowadays. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. so, go ahead go ahead no tell me come on. okay mm -hmm. nowadays uh, for example if my daughter don't, don't have internet in my here in the house <laughs> They they Correct. are they are dying. <laughs> <laughs> Almost if they don't have a phones in in, in their cell phone, <laughs> it's terrible. What happened? I remember the some years ago when I have to call, no no navigate, just just to call. I had to do a big line in Antel. 
I I don't know if did you know until before? Yes, I I knew when I was uh I think I was a child, like a nine or ten. I remember that we have to to go to the, the center and just wait for to have a song phone call. Yes. Yeah, to wait. He almost they had only maybe five ca cabins. Cabin, cabin. Uh, telephone cabins. Yeah, and boots. 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 Telephone boots. Ah, telephone boots. Okay. So you have to wait. And they say, cogute, uh, cogute. La línea cinco. <laughs> <laughs> I remember because they were the, the the telegraphy was uh, uh, talking with her partner in another office, and maybe you have to jump in different station telephone uh, office right office station. Adicto de la tecnología o loco por la tecnología. How do you say the the this or giz or what jik jik uh huh jik. I'm not really a jig, like jig is like uh, crazy for technology. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, jig, yeah. Uh -huh. We were talking with Veronica that the, the many, so many products at the beginning are really expensive. Right. And, the comp and then uh, many years after the, the after that, the, the products get cheaper. So I'm not in the, how do you call that bowl in which you are buying the, the latest phone, the latest gadget, the latest IT technology, or, or how do you call the how how do you name that person? Well, because you are involved. You are yeah, in like a, yeah. You want to get the latest all the time, right? Uh huh. I don't know. Maybe you want to be the first one in line buying new things. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yeah. Do you, so, mm -hmm. do you remember the first cell phones? Yeah. They were big, they... <laughs> expensive. Yes, expensive too. Expensive too. Right. I remember my first cell phone, it was a Motorola, heavy. <laughs> it looked like a brick, and it was like 2,000 colones. 2,000 colones was a lot of money, yeah. you, know, people, you know. So I said, Oh, you have a Motorola, and it was like, you know, heavy. <laughs> that was many years ago. Mm. And the funny part, if you receive the call, the owner of the cell phone will pay for the phone call. Yeah. Yes. Both uh, the, the caller and the receiving. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was, but cell phones are so necessary. Oh, yes. I remember the, the beeper too. Yeah. Beepers. Beepers. Yeah. Has, no, how has technology changed society? Changed? Changed? Society. 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 Uh, uh, I'm thinking about it um, in many occasions, provoke a uh, personal relation because uh, uh, the many people chat but not talking for cell phone. For example, I remember many years ago uh, when you had a birthday, many relatives or friends call to you and, and, and give a, a wishes or a blessing for your life. But nowadays, it's rarely that people talk, call for you. Only receive a lot of chat. Yes. With a message. The communication is impersonal. Yes, it's impersonal. And we need to 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 gain or maintain the the friendly um, touch. Touch. For example, I I I, I had a, a many inconvenient with my son because in many occasions I, I call for him in FaceTime and she, he said to me why do you use FaceTime because I need to look for you <laughs> face up uh -huh, FaceTime what, what, what is that 
The FaceTime is the application when you call and see the other people. Okay, is it like a video call? A video call, yes. Okay, all right. It's an application for Apple devices. Oh, only Apple? Only Apple, yes. uh -huh. Okay, good. So you have iPhones? Yes. Good, iPhones are very for expensive. Me, but it is are more safety. Are safer. Are safer, yes. Uh, when that device, you don't don't have a or have a, a lower risk to lose the data or the the money or uh, something when you use it uh, your cell phone for pay application or when you lost your cell phone other person never can use it that, that I really yes oh that's good so if someone steals uh, an iphone they cannot sell it mm, yes they can because the unblocking is very difficult they need to reset or or change another uh, part to use them. Okay. For that reason, when you when look at that movie, that cell phone, and many many people don't don't take. Okay. Yeah, and they're expensive too. <laughs> yes. In my case, I don't buy because in my company give gives it to you. That, okay. Give it to you. To me. Good. Good, nice. Yeah, Blas La Firoa, yeah. and they and they offered you a lot of uh, kind of these. Oh my God! Yeah, like exotic, uh, like lavanda tea, for example. Good yeah. and matcha tea with milk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I'm not <laughs> it's, okay. It's no, I am a coffee lover. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, the next one is a. Uh, uh, what do you think very old people think of modern technology? Um, I think that maybe they, they don't feel like comfortable using new technology. Yeah. Maybe, mm. In my case, for example, my, my mom is not old, but he's like all the time um, asking for for help to use uh, WhatsApp. For example. <laughs> yeah. I already explained uh, explained her a lot of times how to send a photo on WhatsApp, and all the time is asking the same. Yeah. <laughs> Never learn. And I sometimes <laughs> I respond in a bad mood because it's like, Mom, I told you yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sarcastic, and I don't want to be sarcastic because later I feel bad to be like that, but I can avoid it. Yeah, and so I really, really try to be like patient, patient, but yep. yeah, it's something that I already told her like 24 hours ago. So no, I couldn't be like, like you teacher, like too much patience. <laughs> <laughs> I have some co-workers who do, who does that, the same. I have the same history co with yeah. co-workers. Patience yeah. is not something that I have in a yeah. in abundance now. Yeah, my yeah. parents my parents are similar. My my parents are 70, 72, 73 years old. And sometimes oh. they they um they call me or they send me messages from the States asking, you know, basic <laughs> things, you know. And I and I explain, you're like, okay, do this, do that. Uh but yeah, they they I think they they need help from from others yeah so for example my mom asked to my brother because he's like all the time like quiet like he's very calm it's okay. not like me that i'm like but uh, yeah i know i don't have patience to explain everything the same the same no 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 and for example she's like hey see this friend sent me this on facebook your mom your friend didn't send you this on Facebook. She just published, published it because she 
she thinks that everything that is in Facebook is for her. The people, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the people so send cute. Send the to her. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my yeah. mom, sometimes she's been asking things like, okay, if I put something on my wall, uh, who's going to be able to see it? I said, anybody that is in your contacts will be able to see it, you know? So, and, and you know, they ask you questions like, you know, that questions that are normal for us, but for them, it's like, that's, that's the latest, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, we have to be a little bit uh, patient with them. Yeah. I recognize. I like to to things very with speed, but we have yeah. to wait. We have to learn to wait. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Roxy. Uh huh. But in part, is is good for me because the the life is is. More easily. Uh -huh, more uh -huh. easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this one is mash fresh, mash, mm, oh, I don't know. Mash fresh. Mash <laughs> fresh, eh? Uh-huh. Technology is the next of a rain in the world, so that we don't have the experience. Do you agree with him? Yeah. Do you agree with him? Oh, let me. Why the meaning arrange, 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 arreglar. Yeah. Uh, so well, technology okay. is fixing things for us, according to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> what Google said. <laughs> the, the San Google said, la tecnología es la habilidad de ordenar el mundo. But if you look just not it's maña. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. <clears throat> because the technology is helping how to to knock the world because we don't have to experience <laughs> yes for example the technology yes for uh, there are the, like a smart oven like a smart many Here's the teacher. <laughs> teacher. What happened? Yes. No, because uh, uh, we're trying to figure to figure out what uh, this the the sentence uh, the meaning of the sentence is that technology is the knack. Yeah. Knack of of arranging around. the world. Knack. So that we won't we don't have to experience. It. Uh -huh. Right, knack makes reference to a special skill or a special talent that a person can have. So technology has the talent or the skill to arrange the world, to solve the world. Mm -hmm. So they're doing the work for us, you know, technology is doing the work for us. Making the things easier, I was. Right, thinking. right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So go. is that true or not? Okay. Yeah. They don't running. They don't uh, walking. They, they don't make anything exercise. Okay. Which one okay. were you discussing? And the last one. Oh, the last mm -hmm. one. Okay. Uh huh. All right. And in many occasions, that is true. No, I know the thing, but in the mayo, because imagine you, you ask for a pepe, buy a, a, a food or a supermarket.
All right, all right. Um, any questions or comments about technology? I have a doubt for, for one word. Yes, Norma. Number nine, Norma, number nine uh -huh. is technology, technology is the snack. Yeah, it's the same question that I have. Knack. Knack, knack makes reference um, to a special talent or a special skill. Okay. So if you hear someone speaking that speaks five different languages, you say, oh man, that's a knack. It's a special talent. Uh, yeah. Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay. So if you look that's the word individually. The meaning is like mania, no. Um, it could be. <laughs> yeah. Mania, talento, genio. It depends ah. how you see it. Okay. Yeah. Different point of view. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Like if you learned it the nice way or the, the bad way, you know, so. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do one more listening. See this here. Okay. All right, pay attention. Questions three and four refer to the following conversation. This morning I typed 16 letters and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. What about the McGuinness letter? That was the first letter I typed. I made these two copies. Excellent. Do you think you could get all these letters in the mail this afternoon? Of course. I'll take them to the post office right away. Number three. What did the woman do first? What did she do first? Okay. Listen to the Made second. A letter. Okay. All right. Number Let's four. Listen again, please. What will the woman do now? What will she do now? Okay. Type them. Type them the letters. Okay, listen again. Remember, if you can take notes, take notes. Questions three and four refer to the following conversation. This morning I typed 16 letters and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. What about the McGuinness letter? That was the first letter I typed. I made these two copies. Excellent. Do you think you could get all these letters in the mail this afternoon? Of course. I'll take them to the post office right away. Number three. What did the woman do first? What did she do first? Type 16 letter. Are you sure? No, he said like a doctor, but I don't know if he's mm. type or doctor or teacher. I don't get uh, the first type, part. Type letter, some letter. She okay, how, how, how do you say the hitar in English? Type. 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 Now, what is the word you use when you type without looking at the keyboard? I told you last week. When you don't look the keyboard uh -huh. in the computer. Uh-huh. Um, you touch type. Touch type. Touch type. Because when you are typing, imagine that I'm typing right now, I only touch. I don't need to be looking down. So touch type. So listen carefully, listen. Questions three and four refer to the following conversation. This morning I typed 16 letters and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. So what is the first thing she did? Listen carefully, listen carefully. Listen. Questions three and four refer to the following conversation. 
This morning I typed 16 letters. This morning I typed 16 letters. That is the first thing she says, but that's not the first activity she did. Listen carefully. And before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. Yes, then. The correspondent. Yes, then. Okay, listen carefully. And four, refer to the following conversation. This morning I typed 16 letters, and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. She filed yesterday's correspondence. Exactly. This morning I typed 16 letters, and before that I, I filed yesterday's correspondence. Mm. Ah, file. Okay. <laughs> okay, listen carefully. Questions three and four refer to the following conversation. This morning I typed 16 letters and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. I typed 16 letters and before that I filed yesterday's correspondence. What is file? Okay, file the correspondence, file the mail. Archivar. Yeah, file, right. So what is the first activity that she did? She filed, filed the, the yesterday's mail. Yeah, yesterday's mail, right. What is another form mail. to say mail? Correspondence. Correspondence. And what is she going to do next? Listen carefully. What about the McGinnis letter? That was the first letter I typed. I made these two copies. Excellent. Do you think you could get all these letters in the mail this afternoon? Of course. I'll take them to the post office right away. So what is she going to do? Um, she's she's going to take the letters and then to, take the, them to where? the mail. To the mail, I mean to, to the post office. Right away. Uh, to the post office and then do the, but it's this kind of old fashioned conversation because nobody, almost nobody do that any I mean. Right, right. Uh -huh. Now what accent does the woman have? British accent. Yep, British accent. What do you prefer? Do you, do, you, do you prefer British or American? American. Yes. <laughs> you know, but some people say, no, I prefer British. You know, everybody sounds has, good. you know. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. I think it sounds very um, elegant. You know, like they, they uh, so some people say, no, I prefer British. I understand British better. So, you know, everybody has a different uh, style of doing and learning things. Okay. Any questions or comments about today's class? No. No? No, teacher. Okay, so remember, you need to practice reading, you need to practice listening. And um, reading comprehension, listening comprehension, and grammar are the three areas that will be evaluated uh, the day you take the exam. If you don't have any questions or comments, have a good night. See you. Oh, remember, we have classes tomorrow. Don't disappear. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. How do you say reponer in English? How do you say reponer in English? Position. Reponer in English. What do the ladies put every morning on their faces? Makeup. 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 So tomorrow we're making up. Uh, for one of the days that we didn't have classes uh, last week, so don't disappear. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thank bye you. bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> All right.